Hey, what's up guys? Sean back with another video, and uh, as promised, we have Shanny for Christ, which I thought was some kind of Bible thumper or something. I maybe saved my soul. Like, I didn't know if you guys just wanted me to give my heart to Jesus or what, because people asked for this, and I was like, no, what? who the hell is this? I have no idea, but since I have been in the foodie beauty the Amberlynn Reed and uh, like all those wacky universes lately, and uh, it's been triggering my depression, we are going to jump a little further in there. While we're in the water, why not jump in the deep end and check out Shanny for Christ, which I'm still not quite sure who she is, but it's highly requested. So I think you guys are going to like this, and the title of the video is YouTube's Ultimate Train Wreck. Like, something's going on here, and I gotta get to the bottom of it. We just pack up the car what we can, and we just head out to Pennsylvania. There's nothing else we can fucking do. Oh, shit, she's by We got me. no fucking money. We got fucking nothing. 911, what's your emergency? We're stuck on fucking train tracks. Please, someone help. Just pay attention to the road. I'm not Whoa. moving. Shanny barely, so it's fine. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Well, this woman seems like she's just a peach. That's all I can say about that. And she's in Pennsylvania, which is like a stone's throw away from me in Maryland. So, I go to Chambersburg all the time. My drunk-ass uncle lives there. Actually, I gotta go there pretty soon, too. I forgot. I gotta go up there and uh, kick his ass. How long did this go? Can you help us, Jesus? Oh, my God. It's a fucking bridge over it. This Look at this. This them. is just a bridge for They're a train. down the train tracks? How did... Look, I have to go back to that thing and, 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 and get on the ramp, Shanny. Yeah. What genius decided, oh, friggin' train tracks, we got... How did you even turn down the train tracks? You're a special kind of stupid. Ah, because this is obviously fucking insane, okay, like... No, that's a perfectly logical decision. Please, How do they still have signal? Are they live streaming? Oh my god, is that a road? It might be. Is that train train? Just be careful. Is that a road? Oh my god. Can you move over a little bit more? Thank you. I'm... Where the fuck's he gonna go, lady? <laughs> He's on a train track. Can you move over? Yeah, just go through the damn trees. Like, what the hell is going through these two's mind? I guess this is her boyfriend. But this is a special level of stupid. Like, this is something my dumbass would have done for fun when I was, like, a teenager. Oh, my God. We used to take four-wheelers down the train tracks all the time. Try to roll over them. Oh, God. No. That's it. No. We're what just happened? Oh, fuck. Oh, that's it. We're Jason, what? pull the car. Call the cops. Just help me, someone, please, Jesus, help me. I can't do this stress anymore. Whoa. First off, this woman just looks like a train wreck, so she's already screaming like, Lord Jesus, help me, somebody help me. And then the beginning opening scene, she was asking for money, like they had nowhere to go, living in a car, like... Is this like her thing? I don't know. Does she just e-bag all the time? I hate people who e-bag. It drives me insane. Uh, I need to get out of here. It's so hot. I'm gonna have a heart attack. I'm gonna have a heart attack. How about... How about... Turn off the car. So we don't Wait. waste any electricity. Yeah, yeah. Where the fuck are <laughs> they? <laughs> They're gonna waste electricity. Like, I wouldn't be worried about the gas. Yeah, it's definitely the electricity of the car that's gonna go out on you first. They nothing to do with the battery. No, no, not the gas. The electricity. Oh! Booty booty. The Archangel. We did not die. But I'm alone right now, because Shanny's, yep, Shanny's in the hospital. Help me! Oh, I'm man. waiting to get uh, uh, this car off the train tracks, and then I'll be going to the hospital to see Shanny with the boys, so... I was at the hospital yesterday. My uh, buddy's in there. He had some kind of fluid in his lungs, 
and they actually had to sedate him because he was having like panic attacks and stuff so they knocked him out but he's too big to be like the machines can't like fully examine him because he's too big and that was something i was scared about at my biggest but i went down there to see him even though he was in a medically induced coma and they say they're going to keep him that way a few more days until they can get the fluid off his lungs and then figure out what's going on with his heart but he's been breathing like that for like a year so that's where we're at so please pray for us okay god bless yeah, I'm praying for I'm you. I'm fucking panicking. I'm fucking panicking. I'm fucking panicking. He's panicking. I'm fucking panicking. We have just the weekend to get the fuck out of the house. They just gave us the fucking weekend. <laughs> like, they don't just give you the weekend if they're evicting your ass. I think they give you like a month or something, right? Like, you know that's coming. You ain't paying your damn bills. You could see the writing on the wall. Like, hey, they're getting me the hell out of here. Like, I don't think they just throw you out in a weekend. Or was she squatting and got caught? <laughs> what the fuck am I gonna do? I'm fucking panicking. I'm fucking panicking. I'm panicking. I'm fucking panicking. I'm fucking panicking. Why would I react this way? My heart, it feels like a fucking can crinkling. I'm fucking panicking. That's how my heart feels when it feels like it feels like. Well, this is definitely not a Bible salesman. Like, I thought in the beginning, Shanny for Christ. Like, I thought this woman was here to save my soul, but she's just here to drag me drag me into the pits of depravity. Like, this is crazy. So hard. Crinkling. You know how the goddamn system works. I've been in it too long, and I'm angry. So she got fired from her first job. She laid up in the bed for months doing nothing but drinking alcohol and... And um, oh crying all the time, making everybody miserable. Mostly what she was crying about was because Jason wasn't fully her boyfriend at the time. Wait, this is why what? I couldn't believe, you know, when they... She... You were crying because you had a friends with benefit. with a... Okay, women are the gateway to sex. You guys choose if you have sex with us or not. Guys are the gateway to commitment. Like, we get to choose if we give you commitment or not. That's how I look at it, at least. Finally did get him. You know, I couldn't believe it when she finally did. So just shut us down but, from um, sex is what I'm she saying. She wanted him because he was a millionaire and she knew she wouldn't have to work anymore. I know he's not going to like this. Wait, she got, she got a millionaire? Like this, but... Hold up. If this is the last video that I have, I have to make for you. Wait, what? I want it to be this one. What the hell is going on? I'm just going to pour my whole heart out this so far this woman just cries a lot that's like her character just cry and then have people pity you is that her thing does she like just go on like pity trips i hate that man you gotta do shit for yourself don't sit there and expect pity from everyone it drives me insane my whole heart out for him it's just you've had my heart for a really 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 long time you've had my heart and you know it Okay. Take that shit you back. I know it. You've had my heart for a really long time, and I have had your heart for a really long time. I guess that's not. Jason. <laughs> you know it as well as I do. Oh, that's Jason. Well, this guy looks like he loves you to death. <laughs> that's a hell of a man right there. A millionaire? This guy's a millionaire? Where the f How the hell is he a mil- Did he win the lottery? You're my favorite YouTuber. You're my favorite YouTuber. I watch every single one of your videos. And I think, I think, I, I think I'm your favorite YouTuber too. What was the name? Oh my oh god. god. What was I spent. You don't see too many millionaires with a pot leaf on their head and the Jamaican flag or whatever. But this guy, I, I gotta know. How did he make his millions? It had to be on something freaking stupid. Like, he had to be, like, the guy who molded the bull nuts or whatever to hang on the back of the truck. It would be this guy. Almost five years just bathing in your voice. What was the name? Bathing in it and hearing the Holy Spirit come out of you and just swimming in the This guy has a sexy vessel. voice? Oh, my God. You're perfect vessel. I'm gonna try it. All right. What? And me, oh Mary Magdalene, I, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Well, I guess I get it. This guy's voice is making me moist, too. There's something about that soothing tone. He's like, what? Come on, lady. I ain't even gonna say anything further than that. I can't. I ain't got nothing nicer to say. 
focus on the driver. Okay. Focus. Shani, join me. Father in heaven, we believe your protection is around us as Jesus' okay. name. She's praying. Why do you think I want to move to Scranton? Scranton? Just for a chance. Just for Ohio? a chance of just running into you. Just that chance. A random occurrence. Just running into you. Lady, pull your shirt maybe back something on. something would happen between us. That's like levels of creepy. Like, when I first started this channel, there was some chick that was like, I'm going to come find you. I was like, what the fuck did I do to you? Something. That's all I want from you is something. Because I would do anything for love. Just for just a chance. That's a song by Meatloaf. Just a chance. That's all I want is just a chance. Okay. So I'm asking for love. This lady needs a damn vibrator. Let's just keep it a hundred. Like, <laughs> she's that obsessed over some dude she ain't never met. Like, they make toys for that. Just keep it a real. Don't ask you for much. It's just a chance. Hold up. You know what? <laughs> Sorry, I'm pausing again. They made this weird ass app where, like, it has lips to connect to it so you can, like, kiss somebody over the phone now. I saw it on Moist Critical's channel yesterday. I think it was his channel, but that's friggin' wild that they have lips for you to kiss, like, over an app now. Jesus. A chance of finding something real, and I feel it with you so much. And I just wanted, um, her new husband to know that he needs to stop threatening us. I mean, threatening a 62-year-old man who had his knees replaced and has to take blood thinners. And his heart isn't doing too well either. He happens to have AFib. Who's threatening us? This guy's threatening a 62-year-old man? That's kind of sad. Unless the old man came at you first, then it's fair dibs. But, I mean, don't go out of your way to, like, threaten an old man. Like, that just ain't doing it. That's not it, sis. You don't want to know what I think about you right now doing that. You don't want to know. Is this like her sister or something? But I can let it go. Because I can take a little bit of pleasure in the fact that you're going to find out the hard way. And I'm not going to say I told you so, but you're going to hear it. In your oh, man. Them Reese's things are so good. Fast Break used to be my candy bar. Oh, yeah. I ain't had one of those in a while. Better just think about one of them later. And you know, the only justice out of this is that Jason's gonna find out on his own what she's all about. I don't have any support. I don't have a mom. I don't have a dad. I don't have family. What I'm the, the matriarch of the family. I'm the one who essentially wears the pants in the family. I'm the fucking oh, most no, responsible Jason, one in this poor. fucking house. You nutless. Why didn't you stick up for yourself at all? She just took your man card and threw it out the damn window. Pretty much said, you ain't doing nothing. I love when you women are like, he ain't shit, he ain't shit. That's so funny to me. Because he was when you were banging him. But now that he ain't doing exactly what you want, he ain't shit. Like, it's so funny to me. He'll agree with that, believe it or not. The most responsible? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I go on with that. Yeah. Let's see. I'm the one. I, I, I'll be He's like. He's got very childhood, childish type things. Yeah, and my surroundings fucking look like You're that. You're going to say anything purpose. nice about the guy? Uh -huh. I was just looking at cheap. He's a, he's a little boy, but I love yeah. him regardless. I love you too. That's kind of creepy. You... I'm a little kid at heart. I always say don't grow up. Like, it's a trap. So I still like, like, very childish things like anime and stuff. But, yeah, I can, I can be pretty immature at times. But I also know when it's time to act like a damn adult. Like, it just, you have to know when to turn it on and off. You think more. That's true. I'll give you that. Definitely. You know, I make sure the bills are paid every month. Yeah. Well, I'm mindful of bills, too. Yeah, you're mindful, too, Wait, but I'm like, I make sure. You make sure, yeah. I thought he was a millionaire. Yeah. It's you're very, done. You're very the rudder. I said to people, you're my rudder on the boat. <laughs> you steer, you the, steer ship. the boat. Yeah, okay. I'm the leader. You're good at it. You're good at steering the boat. I'm the fucking leader. One pathetic soap story later. But I also have these marks on my boobs that don't heal. What the? F Where is this going? Just uh, out of the blue, we just flipped to her talking about some marks on her boobs? 
I don't want to see this lady's yitties. Like, not at all. Ever? And I also need to get tested for that. I need to get a fucking mammogram for my fucking breast because I probably have fucking cancer too on top of every fucking other thing. Oh my god, those mammograms are freaking crazy. Somebody showed me what the machines do with the squeezing and the slamming like a pancake. Like, that just looks painful. This is my mortality alone. And my heart, it feels like a fucking pan crinkling. That's how my heart feels when it pumps blood. It Is feels like a heart says, crinkling, crinkling. And I, I can't work. I, I have to get an MRI for my fucking brain. This woman is just excuse after excuse. I hate people like this. Like this is probably my least favorite kind of person on earth. Someone who has nothing but excuses or reasons why this can't happen or that can't happen that always has a pity story. Like, that drives me insane. Because I'm pretty sure it's fucking Swiss cheese in there. It's a goddamn MS that I need to get fucking all the fucking tests for. For testing for breast cancer, wait, wait, MS, wait. and heart disease. Is she a hypochondriac? I know you can't do it. But this is something I am... I, I have to take those tests, Casey. I think she's probably a hypochondriac or something. This is the kind of woman who just says she has everything on earth without any proof of it at all and starts like, I oh, I think that makes sense. When I was looking for some highlights for her, it said something about a cancer scam. She's going to scam people and say she has cancer, isn't she? Holy shit, what a worthless human being. And I know what they're going to leave that. I know what it's going to say, too. I already know what it's going to say. It's going to say I have all of that. What? You know, it used to be I was able to walk a little to be able to go from one area to another. Now I can't even do that. What the fuck am I gonna do? Am I? I gotta go down. What the? F this woman needs to take a damn Xanax or something. Like her blood pressure must be through the damn roof all the time, just screaming and yelling. Like what's wrong with her? <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh look, she worked herself up. Isn't it funny that she's sitting here dying and all I'm looking at is the Dunkin' Delivers bag in the background because that's how little I care about her sitting there choking to death. Like, that's friggin' hilarious. <laughs> I'm such a badass, still looking at the Dunkin'. <laughs> what the hell? God, this woman needs a layoff. I was a smoker for what, like 15 years or something? No, more than that. I smoked for 18 years, shit. And I didn't cough like that. And I was smoking Newport 100s, too. I think I have to go to the... Call 911. Wait, she can't walk. Didn't she just jump up out of the bed? She can't walk, but how the hell did she get the hell out of camera frame? Like, what? What? This makes no sense. No! I would put it right here. And I can't believe people trigger. watch this chick religiously. I took care of you. Spent seven hundred thousand dollars. That's what you did. Oh, really? All these that games you bought, all this ass. fucking Wait, stupid what? technology we don't need you bought. Ass and did nothing. Yeah, I you. sat on my ass That's cooking you. and cleaning for you, busting That's my you. ass off you for you. Clean. This chick spent 700 grand? And this guy let her spend that much money? There ain't nothing about this woman that screams worth 700 grand to me, but hey, beauty's in the eye of the beholder, I guess. I don't know. I did everything. Oh, you yeah. You sat on your ass, did nothing for three years. Yeah. That's what you did. Yeah, okay, Jason. 
okay, Jason, that's not true, but keep saying it. <laughs> and he's really going to complain for me getting $800 worth of makeup when he told me to. You spent 800 bucks on makeup when y'all were freaking homeless at the beginning of this? This is wild, lady. And you'd be surprised how quick 700 grand can go if you don't spend it the right way. Like, you should have invested that, got some properties or something that you could have rent, like some kind of residual income coming in. You could have got like a four, like a, ha, like say a house that was divided into four different apartments or something, stayed in one of the apartments and made the mortgage off the other three. Like, just smart investments. Like, this is just stupid the whole way around. And clothes and food and, and say, that's the reason why we have no money without ever looking into all the fucking stupid shit he buys. A couple video games. Everything I get is practical. Grand. It has reason. Wait, I don't, you're just mean. You're just mean just to be yeah, mean. I don't care. I know you don't care. You I don't, don't care, care about me. You women, like some of y'all's beauty supplies are unreal. Like I just had to pay, my girl got her eyelashes done. That was like a buck 50. Then I, what, it's 75 a month after that. I buy some kind of lash restorer. That's $72 from, uh, what's the name of that damn store? Ulta. And then, but she said she might not have to get them done every month at that. I don't know. But if it makes her feel better, worth every penny. But at the same time, $800, that's insane. But that's probably not even a lot to some of y'all. Y'all be like, shit, I spent that on a Tuesday. All my money. I do no, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I was literally telling you, stop buying this stuff when we knew but the money I'd was running I'd be moving around. If you're asking, come to me in, in, in fucking Pennsylvania from Minnesota when you pushed yourself into my life. I pushed you in. Yes, you did. Yeah. Oh. Jason, you always say this when we get in a fight. And then you come back and say, I'm sorry I said all these no, things to you. Sorry yeah, right. No, yeah, you're going to say sorry again. So this chick, chick came from Minnesota and saw this guy in Pennsylvania who just happened to have 700 grand, which had nothing to do with her love, of course. The money doesn't matter, baby. But comes all the way out there, gets a hold of his ass. Three years later, that 700 grand has gone bye-bye. And she's buying eight hundred dollars in makeup. Why did you let this happen to you, my man? Seven hundred grand. You could have got something way more pricey and better than that. Because yeah, you're probably gonna run at me and try and punch me and beat me like you did last. You time. literally just tried to punch me. Did you see my nose, guys? Yep. Did you shit, see my eyes? I would have slept yep. with him for seven hundred grand. She punched the shit out of me. That's a lie. That's a lie, is and you know lie? it. Is that a lie? Yes, it is. No, you're just. It's not you're a lie. Will you just stop this, Jason? I was asking people for money, and you turned this into this big fucking fight. I feel oh my god. So she beats him too? So this is an e-begging thing. This is all it is. I hate people who sit there and e-beg. I've already said that. But is he part of the e-begging? Like, do they both do it? Because that's just sad, man. I hate that. feel like you're pushing me away. Yeah. Do you? Wow, are you? I would have done that when I still had money. I'm not dumb. <laughs> At least he's keeping it real. I'm with you and I love you and I'm sorry that I have this issue. Oh, with you're stupid. I mean that. These two are made for each other. This has nothing to do with money. Or any, it never did. It was a God thing. Let's get me never. And I know that. And I'm really fucking sorry about the issues I have. Sorry. If it was a God thing, you'd get on your knees and ask Jesus to stop doing this to you. Oh my and you know, God, I'd ask Jesus to take you the hell out of here. Actually, apply the Bible. How do I apply the Bible? Right, you mean prayer? How about what pray. Jesus tells you about how to treat others? Yeah, I want to be like that. Bro. Then do okay. it. So then she do is it. Super then do it. Sure. Okay. Notice that we oh yeah but they only give you a weekend to get out right there's no kinds of heads up coming or anything so she is super religious she's kind of like the old lady next door that gives me a bible every time i walk past her gotta be kicked out here in the weekend and we're losing our fucking car and everything all at once i need fucking help i don't know what to do i'm fucking panicking i've tried all again my fucking phone it's they sent me a fucking shitty fucking phone and it's gone i need fucking help someone help me <laughs> Oh, man, does anything go right for this woman? Like, this is just her life. 
everything falls to pieces. Anything she touches, and then she sits there and cries about it. This is what, like, pe like she actually puts all this online. That's so sad. Put me on it. Just shoot me for one second. Here, you hold it. I'm fucking panicking. Okay? Hey, he's a cowboy. I'm fucking panicking! This is proof. This is proof right here. Okay? <laughs> Oh, that the Democratic man. Party has done nothing to help anyone. The government has done nothing to help anyone. I'm going to have a fucking heart attack. It was I'm gonna have <laughs> How did the hell did this turn into something to diss Biden about? Like, <laughs> that's super funny. I mean, if Trump was in office, this never would have happened. Now you guys are going to be all political in the comments. But I really don't give a damn about politics that much. My mom yells at me for that. She's like, you should care way more. But I'm like, I really just don't want to depress myself staring at political like topics all day. A fucking heart attack. <laughs> Stairwells are utterly destroyed. Like, I, I don't know who would be cheaper oh, to pay this is their landlord? This and replace it or just to clean it. Wow, oh, okay, they so trash that place. I gotta hold my breath in here because I can smell this is where it's coming from. They've left the bathroom lights on and the Wait, uh, vent. Um, here. What is that? Is that, oh, is that a litter box that just is overflowing with cat? Ew! You couldn't spend that $800 on cleaning supplies? All that on makeup? Because you can put $800 worth of makeup on a pig. It's still a damn pig. It's just god awful. They haven't cleaned this litter box. Oh, yeah. At all. I gotta open these windows. <laughs> When's the last time you think they scrubbed that toilet, like too? Did you see that thing? Wash and dry don't look like they were ever used. <laughs> Do you think? Well, they had 700 grand. They just bought new clothes whenever they needed it. And wow, that's disgusting. I'm unsure. How could you microwave in your bedroom? Actually, it is, but I'm smelling it here. Cat piss. Body. And like. Cigarette. Jesus is. Cigarettes, cat pee, and sweaty butt. That's what you're smelling, buddy. Gonna talk about you to the about you in this scenario on judgment day, and you're not gonna have a good report card. Cause when Jesus Christ looks at you and be like, Oh my god. Why didn't you stop the fight? You think it's funny, you piece of shit? How did Jesus get a copy of my report card? I'm in trouble. Actually I was an honor roll student. I was pretty damn smart. You think this is funny? Well, LOL. Pretty smart. <laughs> you think this is funny? You think this is funny? It's not fun. All right. Well, that's the end of that guy. But wow, Shani for Christ. This woman is clearly not somebody sent by Christ. The way she's screaming and yelling and fighting this man and spending seven hundred grand and destroying people's homes and. Man, what a train wreck. They, they weren't kidding with the title on this one. This woman is something else. Now I kind of understand why you guys request me to figure out who this lady is. She's not your typical Bible salesman, but hey, however you want to preach the good word, I guess. But alright guys, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you later. Peace.